Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of What's Up with CE. And on this video, we're gonna tell you how to accelerate your business in the next 30 days. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Okay guys, thanks for joining me on this episode. Um, I'm gonna give you 10 point plan of how you can finish the year with a little bit of certainty, with a little bit of momentum, a little bit of, say, uh, progress, so you can crush it between now and Christmas. So um, I'm gonna ditch the pen today instead of drawing. Did you catch that, Clinton? I hope you did. He's pretty good at cricket, he told me one day. Anyhow, um, so here's the first thing I want you to do. Get your pen, get your pad, and write these 10 points. Number one, call every client that you did a piece of business with this year. Every buyer, every seller. You know how far it can go when you just pick up the phone and you say to someone, thank you? Man, if you just made a call and just say, hey Clinton, it's Claudio here. Um, I just wanna reach out and say thanks. I really appreciate you giving me the business to sell your home back in May of this year. And if there's anything I can do to be of service to you, please feel free to ring me at any time either if you're buying or selling. That phone call of just saying thanks goes a long way. All right, number two. I would love for you to, you to organize either online or offline a market wrap video of 2019. You know and I know this year has been completely volatile. The first six months of this year was like chaos in terms of the real estate market. Um, a lot of industry agents were, like, were out of the industry. And then in the last six months, we've actually starting to feel like some positive news is coming out. Um, liftings are sort of tight but everything seems to be selling, clearance rates are really high, um, and you need to position yourself as the expert. Here's the thing about an expert, you're three things. You're either a resource for people, you're the researcher, and you're the guy that gets the results, or gal, right? And I'd be doing either a video or something on letter form or print and get it out to your marketplace. And if you really wanna get someone with online, make sure you check out Sprinkler Media. They're awesome, guys. Um, number three, just thought I'd throw that in for you, Clinton. Um, the incontestable value. Um, really, really super important. Um, why should they be listing their home with you before Christmas? You see, most agents will have opportunity to list properties this year for potential sellers for next year. But you know what happens is they settle. When someone says, um, hey Claudia, why don't you just ring me back in mid-January or early February and um, let's talk about selling our home and getting it on the market. And you accept that. You leave that little door open and guess what happens? Your competition comes swooping under and they list that home under your feet. As Soon as you get back from holidays, you're going, wow, this is great. You're getting the sand out of your ears and you get that phone call or email saying they've gone with someone else. You need to give them real reasons as to why. Why can they should list their home today, right? Not for your reasons, but for their reasons. Um, one of the things that we provide is we give them the incontestable value and we give them a seven point plan as to why they should be listing their home now. Have you got a seven point plan? If you don't, well, you may wanna think about getting one. Next one is have clear goals. Um, I don't know about you, but you wanna have some clarity around how you wanna finish the year. Simple, um, come Christmas day, you're gonna be feeling certain about 2020 or really uncertain. Um, you'd really wanna have some goals around how many market appraisals you wanna have, how many listings you wanna take either this year for next year, and how many sales do you wanna close out before Christmas comes? Because there's either gonna be two feelings when you're sitting on the Christmas table, either with your family or with your partner and your loved one, and that is feeling really good about 2020 or just feeling really sort of low, empty, and not sure about it. Make sure you put some goals up and hit them hard. Number five we're going through is, as you make calls right now through your pipeline sellers, your database, etc., make sure you're using cut through questions. The questions I see agents today ask is just fluff, like blah, 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 blah. You need to learn how to create a connection. You need to be able to resonate with your client and have the art of influence and persuasion so you can move them, right? So cut through questions. Um, I don't know about you, but I was saying to you earlier, the first six months of this year was like chaos in this marketplace 
and I'd be targeting right now withdrawns and expires, either this year or last year, because we were at a bit of a flat market, bottom of the market, pretty much so. Um, some people tried to sell, didn't get their price, they took it off the market. Maybe this is their opportunity for them to come on. If you read the latest stats from domain.com, the market in Sydney, I'm not sure about Melbourne and other states around Australia, had moved 5% in the last quarter. That's huge. We haven't seen growth like that since the peak of the market in 2017. Um, next thing you wanna be doing is number seven, have a tight bubble of focus, just for 90 minutes, right? Tight bubble of focus. So every day, come on in, and a tight bubble of focus is focus on what you need to, ignore everything else. So what does it look like? Clear task, set up your environment, and you gotta have a time frame of 90 minutes. Do that every day because you start working on what you need to focus on and ignore the rest. Number eight, you gotta come in with no ego. No ego means white belt mindset. You gotta come in like you're a white belt, not a black belt. You know everything, everything will be rosy, everything will be great because complacency, mediocrity, and resting on your laurels is the biggest killer of success. Think of white belt when you first started in real estate. What did you do? You found out what the best were doing, what dialogue they were using, how they were doing it. Have that mindset as you walk in between now and Christmas every day, especially for the next 30 days. Number nine, get an accountability party. Party, buddy. An accountability buddy could be someone you know in your office, a colleague, um, someone that you know in another office, um, it could be a principal, or you could hire me as your coach, love to work with you. But really, you need somebody to hold you accountable. I've got a coach. He holds me accountable. But you know what? I wouldn't be where I am today without having someone that I could bounce on off to to get some ideas and see where I am. And if I need to get back on track and on that path of success, he pushes me right back in there. And the last one is, how will you celebrate? Like, think about it. After 30 days doing these 10 points that we just spoken about, one of the final ones is most people just forget to take the time to celebrate their achievements. And... Put things into context and perspective. Look how far you've come to finish the year off. You know what? It's the final push of 2019 right now happening. And some of the best games in sport have been won in the last two or three minutes. And that can be you, my friends. So how are you going to finish this year? Are you going to finish with a level of certainty? Or are you just going to be like another year just coasting by and then hope that things change for you? Anyway, if you would like to join me on a 30-day business accelerator program, reach out to me, email me, details are here, or just go to claudioandcena.com. Let's connect and I'll get you to how you want to finish 2019.